Now, you may have heard a lot about Aaron Schlossberg uh, for the last couple of days. He uh, was caught uh, on a viral video uh, saying terrible things about Latinos uh, and uh, calling ice on people basically speaking Spanish in public. I mean, how dare you speak another language in America? Now, following that video, we found out uh, a few details uh, about who this guy actually is. Uh, for one, he's a Trump supporter. Well, that's no surprise. Uh, you're not going to be surprised if you've seen the video and if you've seen other videos. Because um, it seems like this guy seems to be getting around as far as uh, getting into trouble in, in Manhattan. Now, he actually donated about $500 to Donald Trump's campaign. Uh, not only that, but as I said before, he loves to start shit. Um, now, first, let me go back and, and show you the original video, viral video, uh, of him. And uh, then we'll go to some other videos where he is found starting shit. Let's watch. Every person I listen to, he's spoken, he's spoken, she's speaking it, is America. They, they, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's very ignorant. He's very ignorant. He's very ignorant. He's very ignorant. And he should, shouldn't be allowed. Because I will be following up. And my guess is, they're not documented. So my next call is to ICE to have each one of them get out of my country. If they have a vote, come here and live off of my money. I pay for their welfare. I pay for their ability to be here. The least they can do, the least they can do, is speak English. You understand? If you intend on running a place in Midtown Manhattan, your staff should be speaking English. Not Because the people like you are nation. Honey, I'm calling ICE. Call ICE. I'm going to call ICE on you. What are you doing, man? Now, look, earlier you said st uh, stuff like, oh, I pay for their welfare. They can't even speak English. You idiot. They, they don't get welfare. If you're, if you're undocumented, if you're calling ICE, because, well, look, that's who you believe. You, I'm going to call ICE because you're an undocumented immigrant. You're an illegal immigrant, and, and I'm going to take you away. Well, if they're undocumented, that means they don't get welfare. And, in fact, uh, it's estimated that uh, undocumented immigrants pay about $13 billion in state and local taxes. They pay into the system. So they pay into the system, and I think they get like a billion back. So they pay about $12 billion into the system. Oh, but they're taking my money. They're taking my money. They're taking my welfare. Pfft, come on, man. That is bullshit. Um, and, and, and again, you can see... Why he's a Trump supporter, but it turns out he's also a supporter of Milo Yiannopoulos. Um, earlier, back in 2017, uh, he decided to go to a counter protest uh, because, look, there were some uh, Jewish people that for, were for Palestine, and I actually agree with that. Uh, I think that's a good movement. Well, Schlossberg came out on the other side, and, well, let's let the video speak for itself. You are not a Jew. 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 You are so uh hey man I, i'm gonna i've been to israel twice Ooh, wow nobody cares uh, so he's out there saying, oh, you're not a Jew to somebody who's obviously Jewish. Okay, whatever. Um, but then he brings out Milo, Milo Yiannopoulos. So he pals around with this guy uh, who is a little anti-Semitic. <laughs> I mean, look, according to a BuzzFeed report, um, when he was working at Breitbart, uh, he allegedly had passwords with Nazi references, uh, including the Night of the Long Knives. Oh, well, that's classy. Uh, and saying karaoke as his audience would give 
Nazi salutes. No, oh, but he's not anti-Semitic at all. <laughs> no. Classy guy, right? Now, Schlossberg has also apparently accosted people just randomly uh, throughout Manhattan. Uh, there's video, uh, and I don't have a video of that, but I will put a link in the description of him just running into a guy and then saying, D You dirty foreigner, how dare you? The guy he ran into is from Massachusetts. <laughs> now, of course, the fallout from this is awesome. Now, according to the Post, um, not only did he get kicked out of his office space, in fact, let me give you the details on that. According to the New York Post, Corporate Suites, the company that operates the business center in which attorney Aaron Schlossberg leases office space, has terminated its agreement with him. They said, quote, uh, and this is the company's president, Hyam Grant, talking to the Post, saying his actions are just not consistent with our community and rules and regulations. It's totally contrary to everything we believe as, an, as a company and personally. That's awesome. Uh, now we also have his fellow lawyers that are dunking on him, and that's great. Let me give you some quotes there. Uh, one attorney at the Supreme Court in Long Island City said of Aaron, quote, I noticed him because of that clip online. I was taken aback that he would have the balls to come to court in front of all of his colleagues after his crazy outburst. There was another uh, lawyer that added, why would he do that? His reputation will be shot. What a dope. What a dope. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, now, not only that, but the law firm that he is uh, part of has been inundated with negative reviews. He has been yelped. Um, and that is awesome. Now, finally, uh, a former client of Schlossberg said he had witnessed the lawyer's bad temper, but not any bigotry, and had stopped using him last year. So, again, that goes back to the point that he has a history of this. He said, we had a bad relationship with him. He's that kind of person. Uh, said, Jenity uh, Kozikovsky, uh, whose company Genial Management was employing Schlossberg in a lease dispute before switching attorneys back in September. He said, when we stopped working with him, he started screaming at all this stuff. Fascinating. Uh, now, I have one more video uh, for you guys. Uh, and this is of him basically, since he, be, since he has become memed and internet famous, he's decided to run from the cameras. I have video of that. Enjoy. Why are you running, man? You don't want to stand by what you said? Aaron. At what age did you decide you wanted to uh, be a, a racist like this? Why'd you say those things to those people, Aaron? You feel bad about what you said? Were you just having a bad day? Or are you always this way? Daily news. Man, I think it's all men. They're yelling, they're claiming things that aren't true. My we're claiming things that aren't true. You mean we're only talking to you about what you said yesterday okay. that was on videotape? <laughs> what a bitch. Oh no, I'm going to hide under my umbrella and, and I'm going to call the cops. Oh my, these, these mean men are costing me. <laughs> Snowflake. You know what that saying, uh, Trump supporters, fuck your feelings. Well, Aaron Schlossberg... Fuck your feelings, you asshole. <laughs> so to recap, this guy has a, a, a temper apparently when he hears Spanish, which, by the way, he speaks fluent Spanish. It, it's on his website. So what? He couldn't just be like, oh, these people are speaking Spanish. That's fine. Uh, I speak Spanish. You couldn't, for some reason, you just couldn't stand the fact that they were speaking another language. Ridiculous. But then again, he, this is the kind of guy who runs into random strangers and calls them dirty foreigners. So that's who he is, right? He's MAGA all the way, and of course, he seems to be a pretty terrible person overall. Now, of course, there are people out there that are, that are going to take his side and think, oh, how dare you guys talk about him and destroy his life like this? He'll never be able to work again. How dare you liberals go after him like this? You are so mean. You are bullies. And you are violating his free speech, by the way, by showing the stuff that he actually talked about. 
No, if anybody's ruined his life and his career, it's himself. What happened to personal responsibility? Now, if you don't want to be treated like this, maybe you should not be an asshole to other people in public. It, maybe that would help. Look, if it, everybody has a right to an opinion, of course, right? And this, is, of course, isn't a violation of his free speech. It's not a violation of anything. He's pretty much getting what he deserves. Having the right to an opinion does not protect you from the consequences of expressing that opinion. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.